All right, guys. So you've got potassium nitrate, and on its own, you know, if you set fire to it, that doesn't really do too much. And sugar, if you set fire to that, that doesn't do that much on its own neither. But you mix the two together, and you get quite a volatile substance. And um, there's different ratios you can mix it. I don't know what the best ratio is, so I'm going to mix a few different ratios up and burn them and see what happens. Oh, if you're not sure where you can get this stuff from, I got this from Amazon. It could be called saltpeter, potassium nitrate, and sometimes stump, a stump remover. Just make sure that when you look on the packet that it is actually 100% potassium nitrate. All right, so what I'm gonna do on this test is, get me little scales. Got some potassium nitrate and some sugar in these smaller containers to make them easier to pour. Now I'm just going to try different ratios. So I'm going to stick that on the scales and zero them up. So for example, if I want, if I want to do a 50-50 mix, I'm going to go ahead and pour 5 grams of potassium nitrate into this cup. Alright, and 5 grams of sugar. Get up to 10 grams. All right, so we've got a 50-50 mix and I've labeled that PN to stand for potassium nitrate. I don't know if that's probably not really what anyone else refers to it as, but that's what I am in this video anyway. So, all right, so we'll mix that up a little bit. Make sure it's all properly mixed. All these ones mixed up, so we've got 100% potassium nitrate here, 80%, 60%, the 50 50, what we've just done, 40%. So, in other words, 40% potassium nitrate, 60% sugar. I didn't bother writing the sugar content down, you can just add that up yourself. 20% potassium nitrate and 0%. So, this is just pure sugar in here. We're going to burn each one individually and see which one is the best mix. All right, let's get into the workshop. All right, guys, so we've got all our different mixtures going on here. So this one here, potassium nitrate, 100%. And this one here, sugar, 100%. Middle one, 50%. And the mixtures change as we go along. All right, so if we start off with 100% um, potassium nitrate, put a bit of that in the corner there. and see what happens when we light it up. Oh, as you can see with that, not much. Let's try our lights with a better flame. Right, let's just go into a liquid look. Just melting into liquid, no fire, nothing. So, not much fun for that one. So we'll get rid of that. All right. Um, Potassium nitrate, 80%. So we've got 80% potassium nitrate in this one. 20% sugar. Uh, same again, we'll stick that in the corner there. And see what happens. Next, 60% potassium nitrate in this one and 40% sugar.
Oh, right, so that's a lot more potent than that one. So now let's go to our 50-50 mix. It's getting more potent now. So, and some of it's jumped into here. Luckily that hasn't gone off, but. All right, so this one's 40% potassium nitrate and 60% sugar. And that one doesn't want to burn at all. Get this one to go. Alright, we're off, we're off. Oh, that was quite a crazy fast burn. So, alright, so now we've got our 20% potassium nitrate and 80% sugar. I'm gonna use a torch again to get that one going. Last one, just sugar on it, sugar on its own, zero percent potassium nitrate, just sugar. Let's see what happens when we light that up. Very slow burn. All right guys, so it looked like this one here, which was the 50-50 mix, looked the most volatile. And um, the higher sugar content was giving a, a quicker burn rate, but it didn't look quite as hot and volatile. So I would say in between sort of 50% potassium, potassium nitrate to um, maybe 60% is probably around about the, the hottest burning one by the looks of it. And um, yeah, that's it guys. So... Yeah, let me know in the comments if you know why that happens because this stuff here on its own doesn't burn really just, it just sort of melted into a liquid and i'm pretty sure it's safe to eat because it says on here you put, you put it onto food to preserve it so i'm pretty sure this is safe to eat this stuff's definitely safe to eat and that doesn't really burn that much so why is it when you when you put the two together you get such a volatile substance Alright guys, I hope you liked that video. Let me know in the comments what you thought and see you next time. Cheers.